Cerberus bomb. What the hell is going on, Commander? And what do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Kelphic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. Oh boy, this could cause a lot of troubles. Primarch Victus. Impressive work on Tuchanka. I'm grateful that... Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? No, but I'll say yes. Why would I jeopardize our alliance by lying to you now? Doesn't make sense. Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. And? And... And that's all. Wait, there is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son. Shepard, test verified. Results promising. Can synthesize for universal Krogan immunity. Good. Then you can put your knife away. The cure's ready? No. Still need transmission vector. Cure useless, unless given to entire species. You infected them with a disease easy enough. Is the cure that different? No. Keeping modalities similar when possible. Easiest way to develop cure rapidly. Groundwater? No. Too slow. Voluntary inoculation risky. Population too scattered for airborne. Unless... Wait! Yes! The Shroud. Constant global dispersion of air particles. Built by Salarians to repair atmosphere of Tuchanka. Also used by Turian. We used it to secretly spread the genophage virus. It ended the Krogan rebellions. I'd be careful who you tell that to. Sometimes I understand why the Krogan want to shoot everyone in sight. Those were desperate times. Yes, yes, but useful now. Original genophage strain still in storage at Shroud Facility. Can use it as transmission vector, then use Shroud to blanket Tuchanka with cure. You clever little pie jack. That's our best shot, right there. Then finish your preparations and be ready to go, Morden. Of course. Ready when you need me. We'll be in Med Bay with Eve until then. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on Bitcom. Of course he is. Shepard. So I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers and we can all come up for air? Yep. Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. I'm just glad I could take care of one of them for you. I gather you and Kaylee Sanders were close. I owe you for that one, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. We even had a run-in with Saren in his early days. She and I were... More than close. Ah. She misses you. I miss her. End of the world has a way of reminding you what you forgot to do. Maybe when the war's over, Kaylee and I will do something about that. You'll see her soon. I can hope. But you've got a bigger problem right now. Like a galaxy full of scared bureaucrats. It's what you hired me to do. Mostly you were hired to kill Reapers. I hope you haven't been sidetracked by all the politics. Nothing I can't handle. What about you? What's happening on Earth? I'll spare you the details. But let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver. 
And now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole, just trying to stay alive. What about the Reavers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. I don't know how we'll win this yet, but we will. Even if it kills me. Well, you already died once, and that didn't slow you down. But let's not tempt fate. Keep yourself safe, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. Okay. Oh, let's go check our uh, war terminal. We have a Spectre unit. Nice. I'm not sure how we got them, but we have a Spectre unit. We also have the Hanar and Drell forces. Not that many of them. But uh, since we resaved their homeworld somehow, <laughs> we have 50 points from them. Marine Division, First Fleet, Third Fleet. I've gotten uh, more ships. And Kasumi, we've got Kasumi working here. She's worth 25 points. Half as much as the entire Hanar and Drell forces combined. That's kind of funny. Javelin missile launchers. Okay, I'm not sure why this falls under the Crucible. It should be an alliance, but whatever. Now we have all of the alien species providing some sort of help. But, uh, so far the Solarians have done very little. The Torians have only been four, four, uh, four, 40 points, because I've discovered an individual fleet, but the Torian government hasn't done anything to help yet. Also, 85% readiness rating, which is pretty good. It'll fall by about one point a day that you don't uh, play online. Oh yeah, it's genius. They'll never expect it. You know, except for maybe the Krogan. They'd expect it. And the Torians, and maybe other half, and... Don't yeah. Worry, Once the Krogan are gone, we'll get rid of the smell. While this body has all factory sensors, I do not have positive or negative associations with any specific scent. Oh. Well, lucky you. So that went well. Glad to see that Turians can flip out and lose their shit just like the rest of us. They're under a lot of pressure. You stole the Normandy, got blown up by the Collectors, and sent us on a suicide mission at the Galactic Core. And I haven't mutinied once. Not once. You thinking about it? Yes, Shepard? Did, haven't we gone through these already? How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Well, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI, so the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of Operator Control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out of the airlock. Yeah, I guess. Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. It's optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. 
Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. If you're gonna put it that way, it sounds kind of cold. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. That was a joke. Yeah, you should come up with like a hand signal or something. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. Commander, Cerberus is attacking civilians on Benning. We've been asked to help evacuate the planet. <sighs> always with Cerberus, always doing more and more horrible crap. What is their frickin' problem? Dr. Tassoni found useful information in the data you recovered, Commander. Where is she? Prothean notes, mostly just talking about Javik and how disappointed is she, how disappointed she is that the Protheans are not as she figured they would be. Okay. I don't know where Garrus is, or Liara is, but, uh, I don't know, they're missing. This happens sometimes. You'll find them go, uh, in different parts of the ship Enough just hanging out. What were you doing before we met up here? Oh, you know, this and that. Come on, spill it to Sony. Very well. I fought several explosive battles with Cerberus. I helped Shepard stop a robotic assassin on Mars. Oh, and I discovered plans for a Prothean Doomsday device that were buried for 50,000 years. Yeah, so just this and that, huh? Turians on a secret mission to Tachanka, huh? No one told me anything about it. I'm curious to see how this bomb on Tachanka plays out. I don't suppose ignoring it is an option. I wouldn't think so. How's it going? Hello, Shepard. Nothing to say, I guess. So, Archangel. You heard about that, huh? Your sojourn on Omega generated quite a few articles, not to mention security footage. 
There's one thing I couldn't dig up, though. Did you really take out three Blue Suns mercenaries with one bullet? No, of course not. The third guy had a heart attack. Not fair to count him. <laughs> Are they done? Are they done? I guess. Now remember I had Cerberus Engineering Twins brought aboard the Normandy. We'll actually find them here. It's great to be back. Feels good to be in an Alliance uniform again. Welcome aboard, Chief. Nothing to report. Where's Adams? Jeez, where the hell are these people disappearing off to today? This is where Jack was back in Mass Effect 2. Uh, there, is, there isn't anything down here, except for Shadow Broker ship model and uh, Torian Cruiser ship model. It's no bed or anything. I heard about the events on Tachanka. You should not have let the Turian soldier evade his responsibility. I take it Protheans didn't forgive many mistakes? If he had been under my command, I would have marooned him in the desert, buried him in sand up to his neck, and let the wildlife feast on his eyes. If he survived that, I would have rewarded him by shooting him in the head. Good soldiers are a precious resource. The stupidity of one cannot be allowed to jeopardize the lives of the others. This coming from the guy that allowed his entire species to be wiped from existence. The Turians are hiding something, Commander. Be careful. Tuchonka was not always a wasteland. It once had jungles and forests. Until the Krogan dropped H-bombs on everything. The Krogan didn't need the Reapers to destroy their world. They did it on their own. Such a foolish race. I am with my own thoughts. Oh, I think that means leave me the hell alone. Hey, Esteban, for your shuttle being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at a lot. Well, the UT-47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah. There's that, too. Parts of Tachanka reminded me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but, you know, the sand and everything. <laughs> Primark's son is in over his head, no? Yeah, he's pretty fucked. That Jack is a mean SOB, but kind of hot. If you like that sort of thing. So, Anderson and Sanders. That's quite a couple. Huh. My dad's last name is Sanders. No relation. <laughs> Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? I hear hums all the time. It's all that you hear on this ship. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT-47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. I always see you down here working your ass out. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. I appreciate your dedication. Good work, Lieutenant. Thank you, Commander. You can count on me.
So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know, there were views like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. As a favor to me. I find it very hard to say no to you, Shepard. That's As creepy. It be. I guess we used to talk about auditory emulators. When you're in space, there is no sound. The old term in space, no one can hear you scream, is actually true because sound cannot travel through a vacuum. It needs a medium to transfer itself across. So, when you're talking about auditory emulators, feed them a fish. They must be talking about something that allows you to. Um, simulate the sound of the ship going by, purely for entertainment purposes, I'm imagining. But, uh, talk to everybody, and I fed my fish, so that'll be the end of this episode, so tune in for the next one, and we'll head back to Chachanka and save the frickin' day.